Okay, welcome, Veronica Lee. Hi. I'm excited to have you end our last session for our community day. The floor okay. is yours. And hopefully, it will um, keep you entertained, to continue to entertain you for today. Um, so, yeah, today I will be making um, shredded chicken breast salad with mustard dressing. And um, I combined. Um, my experiences with uh, French cuisine um, and my childhood favorite dish from Korea um, at a Chinese Korean restaurant um, with the mustard um, dressing. Um, so I hope you like it as much as I like it. Uh, and let's get going. Um, let's see. So ingredients, um, two chicken breasts, which we're going to poach in wine with orange juice, and uh, two tomatoes, uh, one bell pepper, one cucumber, and one carrot stick. And, and for the dressing, um, soy sauce, honey, white wine vinegar, and mustard. Um, if you don't have Asian kind, um, I'm using just standard yellow mustard from Trader Joe's. It works just as well. And, um, and optionally, peanut butter. I think peanut butter adds a um, little nutty taste to it, to the sauce, the dressing. Um, it's optional. So, you know, try it both ways and see if you like to add it. Um, so let's get going with the chicken. So I'm going to turn on the heat to medium high and I'm going to put about a teaspoon of salt on each of the chicken breast to season it. It's one and then I'm gonna flip it. And then put another pinch And um, sorry, and some ground peppers. And if you don't want to get uh, a bowl dirty, you could do this in the pan or pot rather. So you don't have to wash so many dishes. So after I season it, I'm just gonna lay it down on the, the pot with the, the pretty side on the bottom. I'm hoping that that will help with keeping the juices inside the meat. So that's that and the heat is on the medium and in there, I'm going to add two cloves of garlic, just roughly chopped. And you, you know, and you could add um, like four garlics if you like garlic, and a sprig of thyme, and you could add rosemary or bouquet garni um, if you like. But I just have thyme and um, garlic today, so that's that. And in the pot, I am going to add the. Um, Chardonnay from Trader Joe's called Purple Moon. I tasted it yesterday, it's fluty. And um, so it, it takes away that gamey taste from the chicken, so I like it. Um, I hope you like it too. I am going to add the whole bottle basically. I'm hoping that it will, um, They say cook, cook two cups of wine for each um, chicken breast. But I, I think it's good enough with just one bottle. It's a little bit short. And instead of additional wine, I am going to add um, orange juice.
and I'm adding two cups. Okay, so the chicken breasts are submerged and um, I'm just gonna add like another pinch of salt and I'm gonna let it cook. Um, we're, we're poaching the chicken. So, and the key is to simmer it um, in a low heat for a, uh, for a long time. But long time for chicken breast is about 20 minutes. And while this is going, um, I'm gonna use the chicken breast that I made last night to prepare the dish. So you don't, you don't have to um, wait for this to cook. I'm just gonna let it sit and um, I'll have two more chicken breasts to eat. I'll be right back. So this is about four chicken breasts that I made yesterday. And after I cooked the chicken and I shred it like so, um, I added about two tablespoons of, um, what is it, the heavy whipping cream and added a little more salt and pepper and um, let it sit in the refrigerator. I think adding the cream makes the, makes the flavor come out more. Um, and you could try it or try without it. Um, yes, that's it. And then on to the next thing. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot the bay leaf for the pot. So I'm gonna add, I knew I was gonna forget it, so I laid it out right there and I still forgot it. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna put it in now. Yeah. So this one, you, put, you start medium high and then once it starts boiling, you see the bubbles, you lower the heat to um, low between low and medium and, um, and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And make sure before you take it out, just cut in the middle and make sure there's no pinkish um, flesh or any kind of red um, uh, liquid from the breast. Make sure it's all white. Okay, so next thing, um, We're just gonna julienne all the vegetables, which, which are um, cucumbers, bell peppers, tomatoes. No, we're not gonna julienne the tomatoes actually. We're just gonna slice it thinly as possible. And um, carrots. Okay. And yeah, I find, if you, I find that, that it's better, it, the dish tastes better when the vegetables are um, thin. Thinner the better. And I'll show you a trick that I learned from a sushi chef. <laughs> The way he um, prepared the cucumbers, he would cut in and then go around the cucumber as if he's peeling, you know, as if you're peeling an apple. And then he'll just continue to go around it until he reaches the seed part, like so. And I'm gonna julienne the rest. Usually I don't like to make things that takes um, like too many ingredients or is too complicated. But after my visit to Paris and um, experiencing Michelin star chefs, um, I think I was inspired to um, use more complicated um, dish techniques in my dish. 
like cooking the chicken in the um, in the one that was French <laughs> inspiration. So so that's that, and I am going to put the cucumbers in here. Julian, the bell peppers again, thinly as possible. You get the idea. Um, I have some in here that I already uh, sliced up. So I'm just gonna do this much and use the ones I made before to put the salad together. And um, if you, you know, with this salad, you could add more vegetables that you like to eat. So it's again, flexible. And it's, if you like it, it goes with the dish. Okay, that's it. And I already sliced some tomatoes and I won't need to slice any more tomatoes. So that's that. And now to the dressing. Dressing is really um, simple. So three tablespoons of soy sauce. One. Two, three, and three tablespoons of white vinegar, white wine vinegar. And then uh, what's next? Oh, honey two tablespoons of honey. Um, yeah, use honey. I think it goes better with mustard. So one, two, And I am going to put two tablespoons of um, mustard. I'm going to whisk it together. And um, when you're test testing to see if you want peanut butter in it or not, like pour out some in a little bowl, like half of it, and add um, a, like a half tablespoon of peanut butter and whisk it and taste both and see which one you like. I, I personally like it with the peanut butter. So I'm going to add just one um, spoon of peanut butter. A heaping spoon like that. And then continue to whisk. Isn't this simple? <laughs> but it tastes good, at least to my palate. <laughs> it has, it's tangy. 
it all together okay my yeah it's starting to bubble so i'm going to lower the heat to medium low and let it simmer for 20 minutes yeah, yeah. okay and uh, i i like to serve dish um on a single plate um for each person instead of doing a big bowl, but it's up to you. Whatever um, you want to do is <laughs> fine. So the way I do it, um, I like to layer it, like uh, build, build up the salad um, and, and eat um, each thing by itself. I think it tastes better that way instead of mixing it all up. So I'm just going to do a circle for the tomatoes like so. And I'm gonna put two in the middle, like, the, so like that. And then, and I'm gonna do the cucumbers next. Just layer it. Like so. Then I'm gonna do the carrots next. And that looks the, delicious bell peppers, wait until you taste it. <laughs> I wish I could share this with you. And just, you know, as much chicken or little chicken as you want on top. And um, if you have other things you want to include to make this prettier, like you could put it on top of this and um, it will be prettier. And that's basically it. And we're, we're just going to drizzle some of the dressing and it's done. Wow. You know, when, when, so at these French restaurants that I went to, we went to two Michelin star restaurants. And um, I mean, the presentation was just exquisite. So I learned um, to take more time preparing and um, it inspired me to be, you know, um, do better presentation of my food when I serve it. So it's, it's not just about the taste, but I think the French, they enjoy their food with all their senses, you know, the visual, the taste, right. the texture. And, um, and I was, um, what I found also was their, um, dish they don't like to like mix too many things they like to keep things kind of separate so that you could taste the ingredients better so this is my attempt <laughs> that looks beautiful <laughs> yeah, this is it and you could add as much dressing as you want or as little um as you want um yeah this is it. Yeah, Veronica, a couple of uh, participants sent me an email uh, asking if you can send the ingredient list after the class. Sure, I will. I have it ready. Um, yeah, I'll send it out tonight to Tina, and then Tina, you can forward it to okay. the people. Great, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> any other questions? I hope you oh. tried this dish. <laughs> and then if you have any, you guys have any requests, um, for, you know, a recipe that you want to learn how to make, um, let me know that I could, um, try to find the best, easiest recipe, you know, uh, ways to making it and we have to do it together. Thank you, Veronica. Email me directly or email yeah. Tina. Okay, great. great. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, bye. Thank you, Veronica. You're welcome. Have a good rest of the day.